Polling is underway for the Johor state election with a decent turnout of early birds seeking to cast their ballots this morning. Over 40 people had lined up before the SK Taman Sutra polling center's gates opened in Perling, while more voters started streaming in at SK Taman Bukit Kampas only after 8 a.m. to vote in the Kampas seat. Mariam, who has been an additional mathematics teacher for over 30 years, said she was up by 5.30 a.m. for her morning prayers before leaving home to fulfill her voting obligation. She came with her son, 24-year-old Izmir, who said he was voting for the first time. While Mariam said she was very excited to vote, Izmir did not seem as excited about the whole process of choosing the next assemblyman for the purling seat. I just feel normal, he said, when asked about his thoughts on being a first-time voter. Mariam said they decided to come early to SK Taman Sutra to avoid any potential crowds and to cast their ballots as soon as possible. She hoped that the next state government would be able to allocate more funds for the education sector in order to improve the facilities and standard of education in Johor. Retiree Tan Sing Yong said two of his children had driven back from Kuala Lumpur yesterday and would be casting their votes, though he was more reluctant about voting. To be honest, I didn't feel like voting. The politicians are all the same, they just think of themselves. But frankly speaking, we have to vote for the opposition. That's my opinion, the polling voter said, adding that he only decided to line up to vote while on his morning walk after noticing there was a short queue. Meanwhile, another first-time voter who asked not to be named said she was only going to vote as her father had been encouraging her to do so. The 28-year-old hairstylist said she was out early to vote as she had to go to work later. She added that it did not really matter to her which party won the state elections.